And right now, uh, they're going to be fighting again in Grand. Such a close set overall in winners. Game three, last hits, final moments, final decisions. And I would be so excited if something just like that happened once again here. You know the last time Trella came to uh, Dallas and played singles? He was still playing me, Sword Fighter. That's how long it's been. Oh my goodness, that platform was like, no, I got you, Kyle. You hold Don't your worry breath. about it, fam. You hold your breath whenever Trella gets one of those footstools. He is so good off of some of those confirms. And right here, making so much usage of focus attack. Corrin, she's known for covering a great amount of distance, true. But if you get up close, she doesn't have the multi-kit properties necessary to deal with the focus. And that's just a scary part about playing this matchup. Um, Really good weight there. Man, Shoryuken's hard to punish. That has almost no lag. That's going to allow Trella to kind of throw that out there without too much risk. And notice the adaptations from Cosmos as well. Seeing the focus heavy approaches from Trella goes for the down air and sets up for the KO afterwards. Yeah. Very, very clean. We're going to see another first stock taken by Cosmo again. Uh, this is really reminiscent of their winner's match. Ooh. That does a lot of damage. <laughs> if you've never seen that, like, okay, there we go. We see less lag there again. <laughs> Can't punish that really hard. My advice is to hit it before <laughs> it touches the ground. It's uh, it's kind of frustrating sometimes. It comes out so fast. Uh, they're laughing on the player cam. They're having a good time. And Ooh. once again, Cosmos integrating these down airs in succession just to deal with the focus. This is going downhill. Fast. Yeah, I mean, or uphill. Mm -hmm. depends, uh, it depends whose perspective, which yeah. city you're from. Depends on if you're a dragon or a human, you know. <laughs> Maybe both. Okay, that should be a punish. Uh, focus attack missing like that. Really, really high end lag. Ooh, that's going to be first stock. Just kind of runs into that forward smash. Both kind of laughing at it. What a crazy first game. And so fast yes, were the adaptations as well. There's a lot of things going on there. I don't even think <laughs> I would have to have like a whole analysis like bit. Go ham. Everything. We have this counter pick time. Like if you just had to pick one particular point to, to elaborate on. I, I would just like to talk about like how well Cosmo was juggling uh, Trella. Like Trella doesn't get juggled that hard. I've seen DeBuzz juggle Trella really, really hard with Rosalina, but I don't usually see that with too many characters. Oh, nice SDI getting right out of that. Taking a little bit of damage, uh, but nothing that Corrin can't do to make back. Ooh. Oh, tough spot right now. And it looks like Trilla now is is reacting to the adjustments that Cosmos was making before. Got to keep in mind that downer. I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to be baiting that out and then finding a really serious punish for Cosmos' trouble. You know why that's so good? Uh, because, oh no, don't make me eat my words. Uh, that down air is so good because if he waits for the air dodge, he gets a combo off of it. If Ryu decides to do a fake focus attack, it breaks focus attack. And that's going to be a kill. And that's so good. The bite breaking through that stock. Right now, Cosmos, though, ooh, avoids the spike and gets back onto the stage itself. Now, yeah. talk, talk to me about Dragon Lunge and how that might interact in this matchup. Yeah, as we've kind of said before, like, Ryu really can't punish that. It, if you Dragon Lunge away from Ryu, Ryu just walks forward, takes some stage, maybe shoots out a projectile and gets ready for the next neutral interaction. But uh, you can kind of get away scot-free. A lot of matchups uh, for Korn are based around, can they deal with this move? Can you deal with this move? Korn's lunge being one of the strongest moves in the game, but so is Ryu's back air, the semi-truck. That hurts so much, but it's exactly what Trella needs to get back into the game. Um, that's, man, he didn't even get that big of a lead, even though he got that kill. It's a shame. You know, Ryu's up air does so much damage too. Uh, we've seen Trella make some incredible comebacks with that, and God, these aerials are insane. They hurt so much, but so does that bite. Right now, Cosmos, he's one good read on this ledge away from resetting this bracket, but there's That's the it. focus, That's and gonna there's be the kill. Shoryu. Oh no, you hear you hear Korn talking at the very end. I, I forget what she says, but sometimes when uh, the Korn characters die, they, they have a little uh, dialogue. So sad. Let's look at this one more time. Of course, just adaptations. Mm. Adapting in the first stock towards the downers, 
and then in the latter half of the second stock, adapting to the bite. I just want to say how perfect a character that Ryu is for Trella. Like, Trella being like the super clutch player, like Ryu can deliver. Okay, I was wondering how that interaction went. <laughs> so apparently if Focus Sash, or not Focus Sash, but the Focus Attack is used super close to Korin during that pin, uh, he can go ahead and punch her through that. Um, if it's distant, I don't think he can do really anything. Good use of an aerial to destroy uh, the Hadouken instead of air dodging, giving a lot more options. Cosmos in this tri-platform layout, just like the game that they played in Winners, we're seeing just complete control overall. A lot of unanswered damage for Trello right now, but the way that he's using Focus to make it back onto the stage is making it so hard for Cosmos to actually close the stock out. That's going to be a punish opportunity here. Oh my goodness. You held your breath. Yeah, I was just like watching. I was like, oh, I don't, don't make me commentate this. Oh no. <laughs> that, okay. the, somewhere, uh, thousands, thousands of screams of Dallas viewers just out there. Oh, God, Not that's... like this. Uh, Battlefield proving to be just a giant playground, but he's going to go ahead and take up that stock with the back air. Uh, Dragon is on the board. Okay. A little bit of an unsafe pin there going towards Ryu instead of away. Uh, there wasn't too many options. That wasn't a great place to get stuck into the ground. Now with Cosmos at center, it's like he's back in control of the fun house that is Battlefield, just keeping Trella at bay, using these tri-platform layouts as well as the great range that he has to make it so Trella has very limited escape options. Do you think we would see a Mewtwo uh, if he drops the set? I mean, it, it's definitely possible, but we can't get Trella out now. Gets the confirm, and like you said, he's one of the most clutch players you've ever witnessed. Yeah, I, it would not surprise me uh, just to see a crazy comeback at this moment. But Cosmo said no. That's all he said. He's just like, nah. He didn't even say it very expressively. Like, look at his face. He's just like, nah. He knows. He knows the job isn't done yet. And he's trying to prepare for whatever may happen next. Cosmo just took a set from Trella. I'm so happy. And Trella. But it's not over yet. He, could, right. take, he could take a tournament from Trella. That's, that's even bigger. That means he would, like, defeat Yuga and Trella. That would be, in my opinion, like, all right, he's on the map. He's he's it. He's the thing. He's this the real guy. This is the truth. This is the hotness. But, of course, with him being so young, like, do you think that that sort of pressure might be setting in right now as well? You know, I've seen Cosmo deal with pressure really well. Um, he's at that point in his career where he's got a lot more fans than he's got haters. Uh, and I think for a while, as long as he keeps that and stays humble, I think uh, the pressure won't be too bad for him. Even though he's going to have a lot more expectations for him, I really am excited to see Cosmo get better. You know, it's, it's, it's so weird thinking back on on just the YouTube VOD comments, right? Back whenever he was playing U Squared in Grand Finals, the amount of hate that he received, and now people absolutely love him, and he's showing exactly why. He's proved himself time and time again as, as the level of player he is, but this would go beyond anything he's done so far. Oh, he just poked for you with the, the sh corny dragon thing. The up smash? Yeah. I like. The, I, I'm pretty sure the official name is Pony Dragon. Thing. Right, right. Um, uh, as as coined by a uh, Rub Duckison. <laughs> yeah, Rub Duckison. <laughs> oh God. But seriously, I haven't seen Up Smash kill uh, from corner in a long time. It's, it's honestly not a move that a lot of players use. It's not really recommended. It's pretty stubby whenever you whenever you compare it to the rest of her tool set. That is exactly what I'm talking about by selecting down air uh, to be. Uh, air dodges and focus attack. That was a perfect example of like how he uh, kind of just covered two options with that, which is what you want to do at this really high level of a play. The more options you can cover safely, the better you will do, the better you will perform. And we're kind of see that coming out right now. Ooh, don't air dodge. Okay, he didn't. He's smart. Um, almost, actually, he's lapped Trella this first game, looking pretty one sided. Um, Oh, he did that. He's died every time he's done that. I think that's just something that Trella is so good at. He knows whenever you're in the corner and whenever you want to do something like a wake-up DP, if you will, if we need to think about Street Fighter, when you're trying to push the button. And he's so good at waiting it out and finding such devastating punishes afterwards. Right now, last stock's all around the table. Trella very nearly... <sighs> uh. 
rode the Nair train into Down Air Island. That would have been absolutely disgusting to watch. Oh, wow. I thought that was it. Um, kind of misspacing the pin right there. That could have definitely been the game. There was nothing that uh, Trello really could have <gasps> done. No, he's he's got his jump. He's back. I, 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 that time I had to catch my breath. Yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> a lot of times. Uh, now we're kind of getting into super scary percents. Yeah. Um, 40 more percent, uh, or four more percent on Ryu, and I think up throw might be a considerable kill option. Definitely. Uh, but... And that whole game was just going so well for Cosmos for so long. But that's the thing about Ryu. If you don't take the pot off of the stovetop, you have problems. You have problems. I have problems. It boils over <laughs> and you got problems. I have problems. Going over to a tri-platform layout, and this is very much worth noting. Now Trella has critical counter pick advantage here because Cosmos failed to win that first game, which means we won't be ending on a tri-plat layout where he's so comfortable. Yeah, um, did they play on this uh, last set? Yeah, they did. Who took it? Uh, uh, Trella did. It was the, the last game that they played. Uh, game number one, I think, was... Uh, in Cosmos' favor, I think he won the first game on on Smashville. Trella counterpicks, I think, Town and City, and wins there. And oh then... my goodness, that was such a good shutter step. Um, really, really safe. Backed up, got back in the, the tipper range. Um, <laughs> beautiful stuff. You don't see much shutter step. That was more of a brawl thing for Meta Knight. <laughs> Corn can pressure on the ledge so well. Uh, definitely one of the top tier ledge trapping characters. And the big thing here, it's just a simple battle. One player desperately trying to get in where the other is trying their best to keep them out. And Cosmos in the latter half of that game just could not keep Trella out right now. Again, a similar start to the last game where he is just keeping Trella at bay. Oh, um, I don't know. I think he was aiming a little bit lower with that pin. I really like the way he used the pin the first time. Please, scary, stay away from bad strongman. <laughs> it's, it's so scary. He's so strong. I, I just love the way that you describe Ryu and Gorin. Like that, it just makes me fundamentally happy. <laughs> okay, so that up throw is going to kill, even on the big blast zones from Battlefield. Uh, now we're seeing Trello kind of getting juggled here. Uh, Cosmo giving him stage to kind of just come down for free. Uh, I, I don't quite agree with uh, letting him get down to the floor like that. Yeah, it uh, seems like a bad time. Uh, down air is interesting. You know, down air doesn't have very much lag. I'm kind of surprised it does. Doesn't. I wonder if Korn has uh, put soul down air out of shield stuff. Probably does. A lot of characters do. Back air is a really good tool versus focus attack. Even though Ryu won't get hit from it, um, is pretty safe. And here we go. We see another really big lead, but that. It can all disappear in an instant, and that's exactly how it starts. Beep, beep, here comes the semi-truck. Um, yeah, I don't think he even honks, right? It yeah, just dude, happens. It, it doesn't, yeah, it honks after it hits you. Yeah. Like, after it's, like, driving away. Yeah, and so when he says, uh, come on, what are you doing in the road, man? Yeah, I'm I'm actually worried for Cosmo at this point. Yeah, I mean, no. there's, there's a lot on the line here. He needs to take the stock to stay alive. Trello, on the other hand, if he takes the stock, he takes the whole tournament. I, I think Trella just plays better oh! when he's behind. And yes, he does. Trella, despite having the bracket reset on him, gets that 2-0 with two back-to-back -back comebacks in set two. I, I, I try to tell you guys, Trello's like one of the most clutch players in the world and reuse a great conduit to help that kind of play style uh, come about. Um, and we just see, we saw it time and time again. Trell is incredible at comebacks. He's incredible at being in bad situations and uh, coming back. <laughs> like, that's what I was saying when I was worried. I was like, okay, it's, it shouldn't be a bad spot for Cosmo, but it is. This is, oh, I don't know. You're never really winning versus a player like Trella. Unless, until it says game, you're not winning. Yeah, you, you really can't. And that's the thing. Like you, it, Did it feel for you like there were moments where Cosmos maybe got too comfortable? It's, there seems like a moment that Cosmo was outplaying Trello hard. There was like lots of moments of Cosmo outplaying Trello. No, but I mean like uh, when he got like too comfortable with the lead. 
Like it, 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 I, I don't know. I don't. I doubt he was comfortable at all. <laughs> I wouldn't have been comfortable. Oh my God! How could you ever be comfortable fighting against that character? How can you ever be comfortable fighting against that DLC, player? DLC, <laughs> DLC. <laughs> Real quick, I wanted to give a shout out before we close out the stream. Uh, uh, there's an event happening in uh, OKC. Uh, Gamers fight cancer. Uh, that's gonna what is be OKC in Oklahoma City. Thank you. Oklahoma City, yeah. Uh, that's actually gonna be a, a tournament. Uh, there's gonna be two thousand dollar guaranteed pot for Wii U singles, and you get to fight cancer, which is awesome. Yeah, so, uh, heck yeah, and that's pretty close. Uh, if you're if you're anywhere in this uh, southern area, Oklahoma is not too far away. Yeah, from here, I, th I think it's uh, about a three hour it's drive. Three to four hours. Not bad. It's a good carpool. Make some memories. Have mm -hmm. some fun. Fight cancer. All in a day's work. Feel like a superhero. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, make sure you uh, keep that in mind. And of course, uh, for those of you who are just tuning in to our stream for the first time, we stream uh, Mondays and Wednesdays for our weekly events, and then our regionals slash. Nationals, majors, whatever we get hired to do end up happening on the weekends, of course. Uh, Shoutouts to this venue, uh, FX Game Exchange in Plano. Um, they always they have setups for Melee, Smash 4 p.m. Uh, help us run these awesome tournaments. They've been our venue for a while. I'm pretty thankful we have them. Uh, Shoutouts to anyone else? Um, Shoutouts to PG. PG. <laughs> yeah, shout Shoutouts to PG. To PG. <laughs> Taking another <laughs> tournament. High profile tournament. Uh, Shout-outs to Cosmo. He repped Dallas so well. Yeah, definitely. Like, I, I, Honestly, shout-outs to all the people who actually traveled for this event. Yeah, like, this dude. was... Let me put it this way. Like, school I, night. I, I all, School night, and I almost lost my voice during doubles. Oh, that's, yeah? that's how amazing so many of these matches were, you know? We were, we were It was just an absolute treat. Such a great showcase, I think, of uh, the level of talent that's embedded in uh, our state... And uh, it's it's wonderful to see that talent just to to be nurtured and to, to consistently just grow over and over, you know. Texas used to not be one of the best states. We have a lot of talent now. I think a lot of places are starting to get their players to develop. But we've always had like a large amount of players, and now we have like like a large like a lot of we had B tier players for a long time. We had a ton of B tier players. There, like half of them are A tier players now. Now they're like threats. Cosmic Cosmo just took a set off of Trello. Like, even though Trello went two and one in sets tonight, if you go watch those matches, man, those could have swung either way. Either way. Either way. Definitely, definitely, I feel like they were on even footing. Trello just, with the experience, with the right combination of things, great clutch kills. Yeah, you can't, you can't say uh, another word, really. It's just clutch when you think about Trello. That's all I think about. Thanks again for tuning in to Shockwave. Make sure you hit us up on social media, at Tourney Locator. Uh, we love to, to hear y'all. We love when y'all are part of the conversation. And of course, uh, feel free to support the, the stream as well. A subscribe goes a long way. We use uh, any of the monies that we make here really just to fund it back into the scene and make mm -hmm. more and more events possible. Oh yeah, like when uh, Tourney Locator hosts these like nationals with like pop bonuses and stuff, it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's money that the community gave. And they're just giving it back, so shout out to Tourney Locator for sure. Yeah, that's but uh with that in mind, I think it's about that time we sign off. Keep it locked on T Lock, everybody. Good night, guys.